Hello and welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. My name is Robin Finney. I'm your intuitive and authenticity guide. And every Wednesday I come to you live to bring you an oracle message. So happy June. I can't believe it's already the beginning of a new month and that we're just three weeks shy of entering a new season um, in summer. Summer solstice is coming and yeah, lots of, lots of stuff is moving. A lot of transitions were coming to the end of Mercury retrograde. So there's been a lot, um, a lot moving, you know, during this time. And I know so many are feeling a new energy and you're starting to feel that energy of summer as many of you who are, um, either you're connected with children or you're in the education world and you're, you're taking a break now, um, or things are transitioning or you're going through a transition in your life. So many people, are coming up against uh, change and transition and moving and it's looking a lot um, like there's a lot of uncertainty and excitement and anticipation around that while also that unknown of where to go and so that's where today the enchanted map will come into play um, we'll be tuning in and seeing what messages want to support us and guiding us each towards our own true north um, we're going to tune in for the month of June. I like, uh, at the beginning of every month, I like to tune in and set intentions for the month and see what theme wants to come and kind of what energy I'm stepping into. So this is a great way for yourself and your own practice outside of this to take some time to just sit and reflect, look back on the month of May at what you, what you enjoyed, what went well. Um, and then areas where you would like to see something a little different and then look forward to June and see like, what is it that you're calling in this month and really get clear. Uh, we had a new moon on Monday, so we're still feeling that energy of newness and calling in those new beginnings and setting those intentions. So it's perfectly timed with the beginning of a new month. And, um, for myself, I'm transitioning. I will be going back to nomad life and living out of a suitcase. And I'm not sure what that looks like um, entirely. So I'm leaving here. This will be my last time in my sweet little space that I've created here. And I've been, yeah, it's been so wonderful to just curate this space over the last two years and now step out into the unknown and follow my own true north and see what wants to come. So. Follow me on Instagram, Wandering Ant, and you can just follow along my journey and see where I end up. I'm starting out stateside for the next two months, and then after that, we'll see. Sky's the limit. So, so if you're going through that and you're like, oh, oh, yeah, I feel that transition, and maybe it's not exactly where uh, mine is, but yours is something different, just trust that it's all here to serve you, and it can be scary. Changes, change sometimes can be feel that. It can feel uncomfortable. And just leaning into it and trusting that it's always leading you in towards your direction and to your, towards who you are and continuing to blossom and open up in that way. So, okay. So if you're watching live or catching the replay, I invite you to take a moment to take a deep breath in just to ground yourself in the space. And then call in and ask, what message will support me during the month of June? And from that space, just holding that question in your heart, choose a number one, two, or three, and that will be your message for today and for this month. So we're going to tune in to the Enchanted Map and see what messages want to come. Okay, so got your number. Um, if you're watching live or catching the replay, drop your number in the chat, in the comments, so that we can see and witness you in that. And then as always, I'd love to hear how the messages resonate with you and what's showing up for you around that. And also I'd love to hear just what you're, what you're creating, what you are wanting to personally call in in this new season as we enter into a new month and gear up for for that new season so okay so for my number ones your message let's see let's stick on
Okay. So for my number ones, your message is magic prayer. So as I read this, I invite you to listen for yourself and see, um, just hear for yourself how this is showing up for you. And then from here, you can kind of like create some intentions around this for your month. So magic prayer, speak your prayers, listen for answers, act in faith. When you see the magic prayer card, it is a reminder that your prayers will be answered. Spirit is always waiting to help you and to heal you when you're in need. That said, the best prayer is, Thy will be done through me. Thy will and not mine be done. Conscious contact with your higher power is achieved through ritual of prayer and meditation. Speak and listen to the divine force within the field of creation. Surrender your wishes and desires to spirit. You may not get what you want, but you will surely get what you need. Your destiny awaits you as long as you keep in conscious contact with your higher power. Be assured that you are on your right path. So for my number ones, the magic prayer card is really inviting you to tune in to your prayer, your meditation practices, and surrendering your asks to, um, to that greater consciousness, to the creator, and, and really allowing yourself to kind of like let put it out there and then just let it go and trust trust what wants to come focus on your devotion your daily practices so for this month it could be a really good time to take inventory and and look at like what is working for me what is not how can i call in more support and how can i um, create more space around that time of devotion and surrender um whether it's in your meditation or prayer practice and that can be in many ways it can be sitting still and listening, it can be going through walking in nature um, and just being in that energy. So whatever it is for you, dance, connecting to your body, yoga, journaling, whatever way shows up for you, allow yourself to really tune into that and invite more of that energy in for this month and know that what is meant for you will come. All right. So that is for my number ones. For my number twos. Oops. Number twos, Wizard of Awareness. Okay. Your soul knows best. Be still and observe. Mindfulness is about being observant and remaining neutral about what goes on in the world around you. This applies to the environment within you, too. If you struggle inside yourself, Stepping into an observer position gives you a new, powerful perspective that neutralizes any discomfort or overexcitement. You have the capacity to see things clearly now, unencumbered by opinion or desire. Wearing the world as a loose garment requires you to adopt a sense that nothing that happens to you is personal. People come and go, experiences evolve from one state to another in a continual shifting and change no matter how much you want things to stay the same. The Wizard of Awareness asks you to give up your need to define or limit what you're experiencing now. It's all good. Let it be and watch the miracle unfold without any direct influence from you. So for my number twos out there, the Wizard of Awareness is really inviting you to trust. Um, trust in what's happening in your life. And sometimes things can go a different way than we anticipated or maybe not go how we expected. And or somebody could say something to you or something could could show up in your life that maybe isn't what you were hoping for or you could be disappointed or hurt and just know that it's not personal. Like whatever shows up in that way, the people that come and go in your life, the opportunities that come and go, it's not personal. It's part of the greater um, plan for your life and just trust in that and allow yourself to be still. And in that connection with the first card, with the first message around magic prayer, just really leaning into that and trusting, trusting that that awareness is giving you great insight um, into the future and be the observer of your own life. And, and then just allow it all to unfold as it's meant to be. And I love that it says, let it be and watch the miracle unfold without any direct influence from you. So release control and just trust that it's all working for your highest good. 
Okay, so that is for my number twos. And finally, for number threes, let's see what wants to come. Okay, so for my number threes, the message is home. You are comfortable in your own skin. You belong. Peace, security, safety, belonging, and all the features one would want from home are indicated now. The home card represents an invitation to experience what it's like to be secure in your own skin, to live comfortably no matter what is happening in the world around you. It is time for opening your eyes to your tribe of like-minded people or one special person who makes you feel like you've come home. Home is love, and love is all around you now. Whatever your inquiry, you are where you're meant to be and will great, reap great benefit by staying on this path regardless of where it leads. Home will always be with you. It is where the heart is. So this card is definitely applicable to me and to many, many of you, um, all of us on some level, but it's really that sense of finding home within yourself and finding home in, in those around you who really get you and that those spaces where you just feel like oh, I can just truly be myself. I can belong in this space. Um, so whether that's with one person, whether that's with your, your supportive group of people, or whether that's just with you within yourself, um, really leaning into that sense of home and knowing that home really is where the heart is. So that can be anywhere. So even me traveling again and living out of a suitcase, I create home wherever I am because that's where I am. So I hope that that will be an invitation for you as well to really lean into that and trust that whatever change is happening in your life that as long as you are staying grounded in who you are, you will continue to feel that sense of home and that sense of belonging within yourself and within those around you. So that is the message for my number threes today. Um, as always, drop in the comments how these resonate with you. I'd love to hear. And yeah, let me know what you're creating for the month of June. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's always an honor and privilege to be able to hold space for all of you in this way. And thanks for watching Wisdom Wednesday. And I wish you a beautiful rest of your day, evening, morning, wherever you are in the world. And start of your new month. Let's see what wants to happen. Take care.